Okay, Cowboys fans, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say the thing. Fucking calm down. I'm about to say the thing. Yes, it should have been a pass interference. Yes, I agree. It should have been called pass interference. The whole game would have changed dramatically if pass interference was actually called on that. But you know what else would have changed the game dramatically? If we didn't fuck up on every opportunity we had to take the lead. If Blake Jarwin makes that block for Ezekiel Elliott, that is a touchdown. And we wouldn't even have to rely on Greg Zerline to make that fucking field goal in the first place. Just, we are 100% the reason why we lost today's game. We lost, okay? Every, I guarantee everybody at the Miller Lite Plaza, I guarantee, just all of Cowboys Nation, they were fucking getting their panties so wet about, you know, uh, the fact that we, you know, Greg Zerline, Greg the leg, he got the game-winning field goal. Dude, I have suffered, I have PTSD thanks to, thanks to Aaron Rodgers and now Tom Brady, dude, okay? I, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say the thing. Okay. Yes, it should have been called pass interference, but I do not want to hear that shit a single time this entire week. But that's, that's all Cowboys fans are going to talk about. They're going to say, oh, remember when the refs fucked up week one last year with Jalen Ramsey and Michael Gallup, blah, blah, blah. And just completely disregard how much of a waste of oxygen Greg Zerline is, Anthony Brown is, and pretty much everybody on this on this special teams oh my fucking god dude i i knew i i said beforehand that we were gonna start 0-1 i said this shit we so could have won this game we we should have won this game if, we would have won this game if we played competent fucking football we would have won this game if <sighs> Greg Zerline, you're fucking out. You're out. Get out. Get out. Anthony Brown, get out. CD Lamb, you gotta. CD Lamb had a fantastic night today. But that drop completely changed the outcome of this game. That drop led to an interception, which led to a touchdown. That is not fucking competent football. The defense, for the most part, they were they were okay. You know, the defense, I mean, that fumble that uh, DeMonte KZ forced when they were, what, when Gronkowski, I think, when they were within the 10 or within the five yard line, that was so beautiful. That was so unbelievably clutch. That was amazing. And we had a great thing going, but penalties fucked us over. Connor Williams, you are useless. Connor McGovern was pretty fucking spot on. He was fantastic, okay? Bayadach, he had to hold Vita Vea because, you know, because he just pretty much bulldozed him right into Dak Prescott. Oh my God, dude. We should have won this game, and we absolutely would have won this game if we played just an ounce of fucking competent football. And I think there's probably even going to be some dumbass Cowboys fans saying, oh, well, Zeke's part of the reason why we lost. Why? He was never part of the game plan in the first place. But why, why would you throw him in the game plan? This is the best run defense over the last, over the last two seasons. Zeke Elliott is a north-south, you know, primarily a north-south running back. You are not going to fucking go north and south against Vita Bea and Indomitian Sue. That makes no sense, especially with Levante David and uh, Devin White at linebacker. That's irresponsible football. You cannot fucking do that. <sighs> Aside from that drop, 
that C.D. Lamb made, he and all the rest of the Cowboys wide receivers played phenomenal football. Phenomenal football. Um, you know, Tony Pollard, he was decent, you know, when his opportunity arose. Uh, in some cases, I thought Dak Prescott could have made some smarter decisions with the ball, but at the same time, he's having to drop back 50 fucking plus times. Okay, he's going to have... He's going to have some mess-ups when he has to drop back that many times, and especially when he was under the amount of pressure that he was under in tonight's game. Even with Tyron Smith and even with Lyle Collins, you guys now see how much trouble this offensive line is in. Okay? We have to get an offensive lineman in the first round of next year's draft, and yeah, I'm already talking about next year's draft, because nothing's going to happen this year. We might make the postseason. We might make the, you know, we might make uh, the divisional round. Okay, but that's as far as we're going to go because that's always as far as we go. Because we can't come through in, situ in, in key moments of the game. We fucking cannot come through. We played horrible offense and, and like the start of... Uh, and like the beginning of the third quarter, special teams was just dog shit the entire night. You know, oh my God. I'm going to say the thing. I'm going to say it again, Cowboys fans. Yes, that should have been a pass interference. That was a push off. He put the receiver pushed off on Jordan Lewis. But, but we never would have been in that situation to begin with if we played competent football. If we... I officiate junior high and high school football games in the Dallas district, right? I have seen much more competent kickers than Greg Zerline. Way more consistency. That is dog shit. That is horrible football. Having Anthony Brown out there after the amount of times he was burned, especially in fourth quarter, is irresponsible football. Blake Jarwin not making that that keep he only had one fucking guy which was the safety he didn't make that block you know Ezekiel Elliott he couldn't fucking run through him that is incompetent football and we had to settle for a field goal which I'm pretty sure that's the field goal that uh, one of the field goals that Greg Zerline missed just bad bad offensively we would have won we 100% would have won this game if we just came through in those key situations but we fucking shot ourselves in the foot just like we always do but this time in a different fashion usually with Aaron Rodgers it's because we fucked up when it comes to to time management right but this time it is it was just key moments when we were in the red zone earlier in the game. It, it's just, it's penalties on that last drive that just kept on, you know, sending us back. That just kept shutting down the momentum of the drive we were trying to put together. I mean, oh my god. The Buccaneers front seven is disgusting. Just absolutely just dis 